The specs that we took today uh, on the hunt, my close and dearest friend, Mike Parker, is gonna prepare uh, for Chad and crew. Uh, it's above all some of the best spec I've ever had before. Butte Sink, December 2015, Speckle Belly Geese. My boy Mike is gonna prepare them. A little French style like he's talking about. Most people think that agree that this is the best waterfowl there is. No you hear question. this, you some hear wood dog. Some of the best game wild game, game there period. is. You, obviously you're wanting to keep the skin all on. For oh, what, yeah. w which reason? So that's gonna be um, rendered into the pan. Yeah. Rendering Real, meaning what? You're gonna get draw the fat out of we it? We are gonna draw the fat right out of the bird and uh -huh. that skin is gonna really crisp up when we do that. Skin down on the pan like that. It's all gonna shrink up, it's gonna release the fat, and that's gonna be the base for the sauce. So, this is how it starts. Oh, well, actually the killing is how it starts. Excuse me, the farming is how it starts. Then the water, then the birds, then the killing. Then it goes into the pan once the birds are processed, obviously. Let's see how they, watch this one. Look how quickly that curls up. Nice hot pan, really important. So what we're doing right now, we're just rendering the, the fat off of the skin. We're browning these birds. We're gonna set them aside. We're gonna make our sauce and the rest of the dinner. We're using this fat as our base. We're gonna go ahead and the acid is gonna be balsamic vinegar and port wine. And all that's gonna come together. We're gonna work stock into it that we made from geese. We're gonna work some cherry preserves, some berry preserves, and a little port wine, and it's just gonna all come together, finish with butter, but super simple, super basic ingredients. Anybody can do this at home. So now we're just gonna whisk in this balsamic. See how that all kinda comes together? Nice and hot. Okay, so see how that's kind of emulsifying in the pan there? We want that to get good and sticky. And then the fun's gonna come. We're gonna light the house on fire. Let's talk about the stock again, because this is kind of the moment of truth in this sauce. We're gonna flambe it here with some really high-end French cognac. And then we're gonna put the fire out with this sauce. After it burns down quite a bit, but we do wanna burn the alcohol off. It tastes way too strong if you just pour it in straight. And then that stock's gonna do its magic for us. Raise them high. <laughs> So we got really heavy caramelization on the bottom of the pan now, which is exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna whisk that around, make sure all the goodness off the bottom is getting into the sauce at the same time. We're gonna bring that to a simmer, and we're gonna start adding our fruit in. But you can smell, what that's the problem on cameras is you can't smell, but this smells amazing. You get the game, you get the cognac, you get the balsamic, and it just is really starting to come together. So now we're gonna add in some sweetness to the sauce. So we've got some Oregon Bing cherries, which we use for a lot of different things, but one of the things it's really good for is game sauce. We did put in some blackberry preserves right after we added the stock, letting all that emulsify and come together and just boil down. And now we're gonna use a little bit of this cherry syrup, pour it in, maybe three or four teaspoons full. I lied, five. And we'll throw in a lot of these cherries. You see they're broken, they're just gonna fall apart in this sauce, which is exactly what we want. Cherries are always a great, great way to finish a game sauce. So the sauce is basically done. We've got it exactly where we want it, texture-wise, flavor-wise, everything. 
we're just gonna go ahead, we've turned the heat off, and we're gonna let some butter just slowly dissolve in that sauce. And then we're gonna turn it on low right before we eat and let it just all come together again. All the flavors will marry up and it will be decadent. Promise.